What's up guys, my name is Westy, and here I am today bringing you another Battlefield 3 Endgame video, but today I'm starting something new. In the next few weeks I'm going to be bringing out various Battlefield 3 Endgame videos, but I'm going to be focusing on tips and tricks that I think can help you to bring the best out of the new DLC. Okay, so tip number one, I'm going to be talking about Capture the Flag game mode, and how it's best to attack and defend. So let's start with the defending. So, the best way I've found to defend a flag in Capture the Flag mode is to lay mines all the way around the outside of it. Try and place them in unobtrusive places, places that are still going to be able to get you a kill, but aren't as obvious so that people are going to know that there's a mine there. Let's take Sabalan Pipeline for example. Now both flags are quite visible to each enemy team, so it's obvious they're going to try and run straight in or flank round behind and try and to catch you out. Now obviously, as you know, the quickest way to get out of a base on Capture the Flag is to use a dirt bike, so it sort of makes sense to place the mines at the entrances and exits to those bases. And try and hide them around some railings or maybe just behind some bushes, but still in a place that obviously somebody's going to drive past and is actually going to activate the mine. You don't want to put something down and then it not actually do anything. And the second way I find effective to uh, sort of defend a flag is to place C4 in the direct sort of vicinity of the flag in your own base. That means about 4 or 5 feet around the outside of it. When an enemy takes your flag, you're given a message in the HUD to let you know that somebody has actually taken it and is attempting to go back to their own base and score a point. So if you have ventured outside your own base with the C4, or obviously if you're looking right at it, you can blow it instantly and still get the kill out of it because they won't have got very far from the flag at that point. And just like the mines, if you've got a couple of C4 spare, don't forget to put them in the entrance and exits to the base, because you can still take out a couple of straggling enemies if they're leaving the base late. Obviously these aren't the only two ways to defend a base, you can defend them differently, but these are the sort of tactics I like to use, because they're the easiest way to stop the enemy getting away from your base, and trust me, it's much harder to get your flag back once they've left it. So now we've covered defending, we're going to quickly move on to attacking. And it's pretty much exactly the same, but completely the opposite to what defending is. You need to watch out for mines, and you need to watch out for C4 as well. As I mentioned in the defending part, the best way to get out of a base is to use a dirt bike, but it can also be the best way to get in a base as well, but you need to be careful. I found the best thing to do is, at the start of a game, the first 30 seconds, people don't really have, they haven't really strategized the way that they'll use for the rest of the game. It's a bit chaotic, so if you can get onto a dirt bike and head straight into that base within the first 30 seconds, chances are enemies aren't going to be quite organized enough to take you out. But then if you're trying to capture the flag later in the game, I'd advise getting off the dirt bike just outside the base or flanking all the way around the back of it, because there's going to be mines and C4 everywhere. And I find the flanking route is the best because you're staying out of the way of all the javelins that are going to be locking onto you. And as you know in a dirt bike, you don't get any warning when a javelin's actually locking onto you. So the best way to do it is to flank all the way around to the back of a base. The only problem that arises with flanking all the way around is there are obviously enemies spawning behind the base as they've got to move forward into the map. So you may encounter a couple of sort of foot soldiers that you're going to need to take out before you can reach the flag. And perhaps the final tip I can give you for attacking is don't go in alone. You'll find it very difficult to take a flag on your own because there's only one of you. If you get taken out, there's no one there to revive you, there's no one there to cover you if you're moving through a building and you, you're looking one way and the other guy's going to look the other way. If you're not looking the right way, you're going to get taken out very easily. So if at all possible, you're going to be using the dirt bike, make sure you've got somebody on the back so that when you're going into the base, you can cover each other's backs and quickly take the flag and move out again. And don't forget, once you're leaving that base, if you're using a vehicle, those mines are still going to be there. Just because they didn't explode on the way in, doesn't mean they won't explode on the way out. Countless amount of times I've left an enemy base and forgotten that the mines are there, and then got blown up and the flag gets returned instantly. I wasn't very happy, but just remember those mines are still there. And one final thing, when you take the flag, you're lit up on the minimap. The enemies know exactly where you are, so the best thing to do, as I've said, Get on a dirt bike and get straight back to your base as soon as you can and return the flag. Then you're out of harm's way and you're less likely to get shot. I found that enemies tend to focus on the flag carrier, so if you're not the flag carrier, make sure you're defending him like crazy. And if you see the flag carrier on the enemy team, chances are most of, the, most of your team are actually going after him. So try and take out some of the helpers that he's got who are returning the flag back to his base with him. As you'll find it easier, the closer he gets back to his base, the less, en the less teammates he's got to help him sort of get the flag back, he's easier to take out. So don't forget, this is only tip number one. I've got plenty more coming your way, so make sure you stay subscribed to my channel to check those out. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. It really helps me out, and it's always much appreciated. I've got a new video coming for you this week, something completely different to Battlefield, something that I'm not quite used to. So it would be great if you guys could give me some support on that. But when you do see it, make sure you check it out. 
My name is Westy, and I'll see you in the next video.